not exactly in the direction, but I have to say that the minus 0.8 percent is a slight miss. So relative to our expectation of 0.6, it is a little bit worse. But I would say that it is against a high base because the Lunar New Year effect is coming in. Last year, the Lunar New Year starts from uh, late uh, Jan, the and yeah, the dates were changed. Yes. yes, correct. So we are expecting some sequential, you know, kind of pickup in food prices because compared to December, people are starting to prepare for their Lunar New Year right now already. Uh, towards the end of Jan and early Feb, but that wouldn't be as strong as, for example, what we saw in last Jan, well, in Jan 2023. So I think that Lunar New Year effect is a probably part to blame. But that said, the overall, you know, inflationary pressure is probably very weak. In January, China experienced its most significant drop in consumer prices in 15 years, with the consumer prices index falling by 0.8 percent year on year, contrary to analysts' expectations. This marks the fourth consecutive month of declines, the largest contraction since 2009. The decline reflects the challenges facing policymakers as they seek to restore confidence in the economy amidst a prolonged property market slump, stock market turmoil, and weakened export earning. Ishwar Prasad, an economics professor at Cornell University, warned of impending economic and financial challenges, noting various indicators signaling trouble ahead. The consumer price index rose by 0.3% on a monthly basis, lower than forecasts but stronger than December's figure. Meanwhile, the producer price index improved slightly, dropped 2.5% year-on-year in January. China entered deflationary territory in July, with prices remaining flat or decreasing every month except August. Economists caution that prolonged deflation could erode business and consumer confidence, impacting corporate earnings and exacerbating the stock market downturn. The recent dismissal of the head of China's market watchdog was seen as an attempt to appease investors upset significant equity losses. The National Bureau of Statistics attributed the decline in consumer prices partially to the timing of the Lunar New Year holiday, which boosted spending glass journey, but falls in February this year. However, analysts expect increased consumer spending during the upcoming festival to boost price growth. Food prices dropped significantly last month, while non-food prices saw a modest increase. The decline in producer prices, influenced by fluctuations in international commodity prices, has persisted for 16 consecutive months. Looking ahead, policymakers are expected to set a GDP growth target of around 5% for 2024, similar to the previous year's goal. To achieve this target, Beijing has implemented various stimulus measures, including adjustments to lending rates targeted, supported for strategic sectors, and selective measures to bolster the property market, which traditionally plays a significant role in the economy. The upcoming two sessions of China's parliament in March will provide further insight in the government's priorities for the year.